Hi, it's Wednesday and welcome to today's video blog. Uh, just first of all to say thanks for all the very positive feedback we're getting on this. It's our way of trying to reach out right across Buckinghamshire to keep residents and local businesses informed of what's going on. And so uh, we'll keep doing them as long as they're still valuable to you. Um, I've got three things to say up front today uh, and then I'm going to introduce today's guest. Uh, first of all, well, we've got some business support grant money that's been given to us by government. People watching may recall that Rishi Sunak, who's the Chancellor of the Exchequer, uh, announced these about a fortnight ago. Uh, their support particularly for the retail, hospitality and leisure sectors. Um, and at the weekend, we wrote out to six and a half thousand businesses across Buckinghamshire, uh, advising them of their eligibility for these grants. Uh, we've already had over 2000 responses to these. Uh, and we'll be processing these over the next few days. It's really important to get this money out to people as quickly as possible. We're determined to try and support the economy in the county as much as we can. Uh, but I would advise that we've used emails where we've got them, but we don't have them for every business. So if we don't have your email, we'd have posted it to your registered business address. Um, and it may be that that's currently unoccupied for you know, understandable reasons. So I'm just trying to make sure that anyone watching here who may be involved in that business or knows somebody who is, make sure that they do check uh, maybe the business premises to make sure that they've actually seen the, uh, the application for the grant. Uh, if not, you can always get details again on the Buckinghamshire Council website under business grants. So uh, I just wanna make sure that everybody's aware of that. Really important, we, we support the local economy uh, across Buckinghamshire. Um, and then something directly relevant to uh, most residents across the county. Um, even though I have been saying that we have suspended green waste collections across the county, um, I'm still getting local councillors reporting back that residents are still putting out their green bins for collection. Uh, in the north of the county, I'm conscious they're brown bins. Uh, we're not collecting those at present. We're prioritising in line with the government guidance, the collection of what's called residual waste. That's for many of us what we call a black bin, where if you like the, the rest of our rubbish goes. So if you put out your green bin or your brown bin, that will not be collected. Uh, and again, if you see other residents in the road that are doing that, would you just make, make that clear to them and just spread that word around? Because uh, apparently a lot of people still are. And the third thing I just wanted to say to people quickly was, you know, when you've run out of things to watch on Netflix or Amazon Prime or iPlayer, um, the adult learning team within the new Buckinghamshire Council are moving a lot of their material online. So you can actually maybe learn a language or a key skill or anything like that while we're all doing our social isolation. Um, and that, again, you can access via the council website. So if you go into Buckinghamshire Council, uh, you should be able to access the adult learning material that's being moved rapidly online. Um, and you never know, you might find actually a very productive, uh, potentially couple of months at home uh, learning a new language. So having said all that, <clears throat> I just want to introduce today's guest. Uh, that's Matt Walsh. He's the mayor currently of Princess Risborough. And what we wanted to do was share some great practice that I've come across there. Uh, they're calling it the Risborough Basket. Uh, it's where they basically formed over like an online high street for many of the local independent shops, uh, allowing people to buy from home. So having said that, I'm going to learn a lot more along with you by handing over to Matt now. So Matt, uh, hopefully you're online and able to join us. Um, over to you. Tell us a bit more. Well, thank you very much for uh, giving us the opportunity to spread the good news about RISBA Baskets. Um, we've had an absolutely phenomenal response to this scheme. Uh, it was launched within nine days of the idea being created and it had two key functions. One was to protect our vulnerable during this very difficult time and two was to safeguard our high street as our retailers face an absolutely devastating potential impact on their futures. So what we've done in nine days is created an online platform so that our high street retailers can get goods out to our residents across the whole of Princess Risborough to benefit those that are most at risk. We have, as of today, had over 80 volunteers sign up to our scheme. We've had over 1,200 deliveries in the past 10 days. Uh, our fruit and veg orders have been rising steadily from 30, 40, 50. I think today may be a record of over 80 deliveries. We could not have done this without the wonderful community spirit we have here in Princess Risborough. And I just want to thank everybody that's been part of this scheme so far. A uh, particular big thanks to my colleague on the town council, Alan Turner. He has been sterling in his job managing our fruit and vegetable department. We are receiving so much gratitude from our local residents that we can help them self-isolate. We are receiving a phenomenal feedback 
from our retailers that we are managing to keep their tills ringing and we hope to continue this scheme for as long as it is needed. It is an absolute demonstration of why buying local and supporting local will be the key to this recovery when this very difficult situation will eventually come to an end. Thanks, Matt. That's a great initiative. And I'm really impressed with the way that people in Prince Elizabeth have come together uh, to help promote that initiative. And by putting it online like this, hopefully it might be an idea that other parts of the county can pick up and run with locally as well. We are getting a lot of information in about local initiatives. And one of the things I want to try and do on this video blog uh, is during the week actually show some of the best examples that we've got from around the whole county. So if you're involved in one of those, please let us know. Uh, we'd love to feature you online uh, in the video blog as well. As I said at the beginning, we're going to keep these going as long as you keep giving us positive feedback on them. And it's a great way of communicating with you. So having said that, as always, stay safe, stay well and see you tomorrow.